Tonight on News at 11, grapefruit juice will kill you. Well, in some cases, if you take certain medications, I'm not very good at these shock openings. Anthony here for D News. Have you ever gotten a medication with a no grapefruit warning label on it? I feel like nobody eats grapefruit for any other reason than it's healthy because grapefruit sucks and taking medication sucks. And so it seems unfair that doing two things that you don't wanna do just to stay healthy would kill you. Uh, a crazy number of medications have negative interaction with grapefruit, 85 of them in total, up from just 17 a few years ago, with 43 of these interactions being potentially fatal when mixing them together. The medications on the list cover everything from antidepressants to birth control to drugs taken by organ transplant patients. And it's not just grapefruit either. Other citrus like Seville oranges or limes or pomelos can cause them too. And in some cases, they can be caused by drinking a six ounce glass of juice. So what happens? How does it happen? Why grapefruit? Well, most of the medications on the list have a narrow therapeutic range, meaning that they're specifically medicines where going just a little off dose can have serious consequences. They're medications that your body has trouble absorbing. So you have to take a lot to get a decent effect and the rest of the medicine is usually deactivated by an enzyme in your digestive tract that has the easy to remember name of CYP 3A4. But grapefruit and those other citrus fruits have a natural chemical that inhibit your body from making that enzyme. So you don't break down the extra medication and it all gets absorbed into your system. Essentially, you overdose because you put marmalade on your toast in the morning. All the medications that could cause this stuff get labeled, so you probably aren't taking one without knowing about it. But a new report is showing that a lot of patients aren't told how serious the interactions can be, and a lot of medical professionals aren't even aware themselves. We'll put a link to the medication list in the report down below. It's so strange to me that a simple thing like a grapefruit can mess with a sophisticated medication that way. It's a good reminder to take warning labels seriously, I guess, but also maybe a sign that we need to make our medications a little more compatible with everyday life. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.